Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Insights with Dylan White. We're here with another video on what is Microsoft. Um, in this video, we're going to dive into a concept and a tool that a lot of people have asked me about over the last decade, right? And how is that? How do you get your start with Microsoft tools? There's so much out there. There's so much to learn. There's so much knowledge. But where it's one place where you can really find it all when it comes to Microsoft security. Well, fortunately, over the last decade, there's been products from Microsoft like Microsoft Learn. Um, there's been great people out there that are Microsoft certified trainers that have launched YouTubes over the last couple couple years. Um, and all those will be in there in the show notes below. But this resource that I'm going to talk about today is called the Microsoft Security Academy. It's the one-stop shop for everything Microsoft. You want to know about a different product coming up, it's in there. You want to know about tool specific and industry specific security items it's in there if you want to go deeper in and get you know micro certifications that microsoft has to offer um called ninja trainings they're in there and if you want to just dive into what microsoft products are released today and how they look at certain features it's all in there so today we're going to drive deep into microsoft security academy excited to show it to you guys see you on the other side All right, guys, we're back looking at the Microsoft Security Academy. I want to just get your guys' thoughts. Um, so be sure to leave them in the notes, but we're going to just dive in, right? So this academy gets updated pretty frequently, almost every week, if not every two weeks on average, with documentation throughout all the different product lines. It goes deep into everything Microsoft Security is, as you can see, is updated on March 11th, right? So they have a couple of get started pages. They talk about the world of cybersecurity, right? It's not just an individual effort. Shared responsibility. They got resources page for all the different modules. Talk about new resources like Microsoft Copilot for security. The Q and A. They have specializations. I really don't like the specialization page. It dives more into the partner specific. Um, there's some things it talks about, so you can kind of focus on industry and how the they might work, which might get you a leg up in talking, right, and think about what you can do in the outside world and in different corporations. But from a learning they, background specifically i don't really think it makes that much of a difference what i do really like is the basics right i really like how it has a get started and getting started we'll dive into um the basic cyber hygiene pretend prevents 98 percent of attacks as you move into your industry specific and organization specific specific if you start a small organization some of them haven't even adopted things like mfa um, conditional access definitely not right and so not having those really requires makes a company that much less secure even though you think you know hey the closer knit you are the less likely you are to be attacked but because you're so defined by those you know we'll call them aging technologies less there's less capabilities um, to actually protect you in that environment right less redundancy um, so um, it's been noted that 98 percent of attacks could be stopped by basic cyber hygiene mfa um just having you know av and an edr in in place so just so simple things you can run you can run through that document yourself leave that out there microsoft security 101 is a great tool we'll dive into that like i said the get started page microsoft security 101 is an actual framework and a lesson plan is developed by cloud security advocate um and they run through the cia triad all kinds of different things to get something that's going from zero up to i'd call it a good 50 percent even of the basics and fundamental knowledge that will lead you up to getting a microsoft certification called the sc 900 which is a fundamentals exam the 101 training will not train you for the 900 but will prep you for some of the concepts you'll learn in that training then dives into cis benchmarks the cis is a framework built upon the center for information internet standards it has benchmarks built out for Microsoft, right? So different Microsoft products like Azure, um, Microsoft 365, etc., all built on that. And then the Secure Cloud Business Applications or SCUBA project built is also built by CISA, another government organization, and it was built for cloud applications services, Google, Microsoft, to have standards for government entities, right? So the government came out and said if you were going to be supplying our work your information standards need to be up at this tier so microsoft worked with a bunch of different partners and organizations to build a github that kind of went out to set controls and to see if organizations had those controls so this is one that i'm going to do a live feed on 
We're going to dive deeper into this one probably tomorrow night. And I'm going to get it loaded. I was supposed to get it loaded a couple weeks ago, but just have been insanely busy with work. So here we are. And so th there's the learning path, right? So the Security Academy is the very top level, but it's got a getting started. It's got resources, it's got modules, and then it's got Security Copilot and specializations, right? So the modules, Microsoft Sentinel is the next gen SIM tool, right? So logging and SOAR, also known as Security Operations, Automations, and Response. Defender XDR is extended detection response across all kinds of different stacks. Defender for cloud is Microsoft's Azure, right? So Defender is just cloud security posture management. It can cross into AWS, GCP, blah, blah, blah. There's lots in there. We'll talk about it a long, long time away. Microsoft Intra is identity. Network security, pretty straightforward. Endpoint security, also pretty straightforward. Purview is an interesting entity because it contains compliance, also contains insider risk management, but also contains DLP, also known as data loss prevention, just lots of different things inside the purview stack on its own. So now that we got through that very basic thing, not basic at all, there's lots to learn through there. I just, we're running through the main page, right? So here's how you can start your journey. There's different blogs. So as you dive into different spaces, so maybe you're starting out, like I really like identity. So maybe a Microsoft Entra blog is good for you, right? You want to dive in there. Maybe, you know, you really are coming from a network engineering background. You want to learn more about cloud and cloud networking. Azure Network Security blog is right there for you. All right. So there's a basics blog too, security compliance and identity. That's got the whole form and trifecta, right? So I want to be a ninja. This is something that I dove into very quickly in the article, but I think it's really, really cool how Microsoft laid out their trainings because Microsoft Ninja trainings, as it says, are organized learning modules that guide you through advanced features and functions of the products. So as you're thinking about, hey, I want to dive further into, you know, Sentinel. Well, hey, I, Microsoft has a whole Sentinel Ninja training. It has a notebooks training, which is part of Sentinel, and has an automation training, right? But maybe you're like, I just want to be a SOC analyst. So there's Microsoft Unified SOC Platform Ninja training. So you do everything you should have a start at before you go on the job. This is what I think is a ninja sets Microsoft training apart is that it's like, hey, you can learn the basics and have that ready before you even jump on the job and learn how they do it. And I think it sets you up really well to go into the interview phase. It's like, oh, you know our, our tool sets and you can actually bring something maybe different with a new set of eyes to the team. Very important. Excuse the emails that pop up. Um, and so I think another one that I really enjoyed was, I have a few of these. But I think the Microsoft Purview ones were really interesting. I really like the DLP. Um, and I have the, the original Microsoft Sentinel one. I'm thinking about diving into automation. So if you have any ideas around where you guys would like to go, it would be great because I'd love to do it with you. I'll let me know. But one of the areas I definitely think I'm leaning towards is maybe the information protection or the insider risk management. So let me know in the comments. It would be great to get you guys feedback. Now, back over to one of the pieces that I really want to talk about for the the people that really want to transition are looking for you know really big head start i think you need to go to the getting started page right so i already pulled it up i'm gonna show you guys how to get there it says microsoft security 101 and it's right here right so you get to explore microsoft security 101 you just click the link and it's got these great dive-ins right so it lays out the module this is all through github but what you can actually do is you can click the course itself right so Maybe not the banner isn't the greatest one, but let's see. Do, 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 do. So you can actually hit play on the actual video. And I'll drop these links in there so you don't have to go through all the clicks like I did. But what the course covers right, is basic cybersecurity concepts such as the CIA triad, the differences between risks and threats, what a security control is, forms they take, understanding what zero trust is and why it's important for modern cybersecurity. Remember we said some more organizations haven't ad adopted the modern part of that yet. Understand key concepts and themes across identity, network, security, SecOps, infrastructure, and data security. Giving some examples of tools used to implement security controls. Make sure I have to also went in to say what this course will not cover, right? How to use the specific security tools, how to hack or do red team offensive security, and learning about specific compliance standards, right? If you're here to learn about NIST, you know, ISO 27001, that kind of stuff, or if you're learning how to do purple team and you want to know how to do pen testing, you want to know how to use app controls, this isn't it. 
is not the course. It's very conceptual, very built for 101. I want to understand some basics because I'm trying to build my, my career out. I'm just really starting with the new career. So I really think the 101 really dives into that. And this, like I said, it's all video based, right? You can finish the course. And I think by the end of it, you should be ready to go start studying for the SC 900. It's really good. Um, so I think we're going to do that one together live as well. Hopefully, probably Saturday morning before my house wakes up. So hopefully this gave you a really good introduction into what the Microsoft Security Academy has to offer, how you can leverage it to start your new career. Hopefully you guys liked it. Leave me some comments below. If you guys like the content, please subscribe. Thanks.